It's the most important event in history. What did it feel like? One weekend that split time into before and after. What did it look like? If you believe, it defines your whole existence. What really happened? But how much do you really know about the cross? Any illustrations I saw of the crucifixion were of a fairly placid uh, Jesus looking down in pity from the cross. This was not a this was not a pretty picture. Dr. Carl McCurdy has studied Jesus' crucifixion and has filled in many scientific details that the Bible leaves out. Jesus allowed himself to suffer, and uh, I couldn't imagine a worse way to die. Jesus said, this is your hour when darkness reigns. Luke 22, 52 and 53. Thursday night, April 6th, 30 AD. Most historians agree this is the date of Jesus' arrest. Pilate had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Mark 15, 15. For prisoners sentenced to crucifixion, the first step was flogging. The Romans used a whip called a flagrum. It was specially designed to rip the skin off a prisoner's back. They had it down to an art. The iron would make bruises, but then these pieces of bone would begin to cut and cut into the skin and the subcutaneous tissue and actually uh, would result in, uh, in lacerations all the way down to the muscle. The, uh, the pain would be um, intense and unrelenting. The point of the scourging was to bring the victim as close to exhaustion and as close to death as possible before actually taking him to the cross. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. Then they struck him on the head again and again. Matthew 27, 29, and 30. Next, for Jesus, a special punishment. The thorns themselves were most likely several inches long and horribly painful. The face and the scalp have probably the best blood supply of any, uh, you know, any areas of skin on the body. You also have the, some of the most nerves, some of the greatest number of nerves um, in the skin would be on, on the scalp and the face. Uh, again, intense, sharp pain. They seized Simon of Cyrene put the cross on him and made him carry it. Luke 23, 26. It weighed between 80 and 110 pounds, and knowing that Jesus could not carry what the Romans called the patibulum gives clues about the beating he'd already suffered. One thing that we see in trauma is that a young person, a person who's in good condition, may be much closer to death than we think from the blood loss. So, even though Jesus at this point was stumbling and, uh, and, and could remain upright, um, he was probably very near the edge of, uh, of total circulatory collapse. He went out to the place of the skull, and here they crucified him. John 1917. Crucifixion was a relatively bloodless process. The nails Romans used resembled railroad spikes. There was one pounded through both feet and one hammered through each wrist. A nail or spike through the palm would never hold the weight uh, of a body. But the spike inserted through here would, uh, would get right in the middle of those uh, wrist bones and would, uh, um, would enable the, uh, the body to be suspended by the strength of those, uh, those ligaments. The pain would be like hot liquid, it would be a hot shooting pain back up the arm. It would leave the hand in a claw shape and paralyzed. Death on a cross had little to do with nails. Instead, crucifixion normally meant death by suffocation. The only way you can adequately breathe would be to push up with the impaled feet, pull up with the arms in order to breathe and then sag down again in exhaustion. And obviously, every time that happened, there was intense pain in the arms. The scourged back would rub against the, uh, uh, the rough wood of the cross. The uh, impaled feet would also have their own nerve pain and, and pain shooting up the legs. Uh, and it would be pure agony 
to simply take a breath. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. Mark 15, 37. Crucifixion often took days, but Jesus died quickly. And as the loud cry suggests, he also died suddenly. A catastrophic terminal event is a pathologist's phrase to mean that something happened all of a to cause death. And my feeling would be that, that his scourging was so intense, that the blood loss that preceded the uh, crucifixion was so intense that that shortened the uh, length of time uh, of the crucifixion. And in this case, the final event was, uh, was I'm sure, either a, an abnormal heart rhythm or his heart simply stopped. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a new tomb, and they laid Jesus there. John 19, 41 and 42. On April 7th, 30 AD, the world turned dark. Jesus is dead. Friday is over. But Sunday is coming.